it's anything that we can see, like these, these lamps up here, these little beads on this chandelier here. These are point sources, these things right here. Um, it's something that we can see as a, a point. And our eyes, when we focus our eyes on something like that, we resolve those points into points, and that's what we call in focus. And how that works in a camera is a point source of light, like those little things. It actually uh, expands, and when the lens captures that, the lens is going to focus that point source of light over here. And where these two, where that cone of light converges, that is called a focal point. Okay? So where this expands, it comes back. This is called the focal point, and then it just keeps going. All right, that light just keeps going. And so what we want is we want this focal point to hit what is called our plane of focus, our focal plane. The focal plane is our sensor in our camera, or the film, if we had film. So what we want to do is we want to have this focused on that. That's how we achieve focus. That's how focus works. And what happens is different point sources of light at different distances will have different focus points. So that's why when you're racking your focus and you're moving that little thing, you're moving your lens back and forth. And so what happens is if you move it back, now this isn't focused because we've moved our lens, the focus is back here, or if we move it forward, it's up here. And so that's how we can choose what's in focus. Now how does that apply to depth of field and bokeh? Well, this little cone right here, if it's resolved exactly on the sensor, we get something that's clear and it's in focus. But sometimes it doesn't have to be exactly right. So if the focal plane is just off a little bit, we can still identify that thing as a point. Even though it's not as crisp as it could be, it's within the circle of confusion. In other words, it's, with, it's inside of this thing that we accept as in focus. And so usually that is just a little bit before and a little bit behind this point. And that's how we get depth of field. So we have things that are at different focal lengths. They're not all going to resolve in the same place. They're going to resolve at different places. But if they're inside this little area that our brains can say, you know what, that's not exactly a dot, but it's pretty close, then we consider that in focus. It's pretty crazy. And if we have something like this, where we close the aperture down, what happens is these converge in a much more narrow way, which means our circle of confusion gets greater and our depth of field grows. And so that's why when you're shooting at something like at a, a 2.8 really wide aperture, a 1.2, the depth of field is really shallow because that convergence is like, boom, it's just coming in and your circle of confusion is really, really narrow. And the opposite, when we take this aperture and we close it down, more of these little dots, even though they're not exactly in focus, will appear to our eyes as being in focus. And that's really cool. 